in my head I was thinking ACL, but I just laid there and before he actually went to do the test, I just I just started laughing. And um, they said, why are you laughing? I said, what else are you meant to do? Yeah, the injury was a bit of a weird one. In the first yeah, couple of minutes, I just went to do a movement I, I do, you know, three, four hundred times in a game, and my knee just gave way. He's oh, hurt himself. Holding the leg here, isn't he? Yeah, he's hurt himself, Canelio. This is horrific news. Yeah, I just felt this click and pop and feared the worst. Couldn't actually walk. I was just devastated. Just thoughts of, I shouldn't have played. Uh, what is this going to mean for my career? I'm going to miss 12 months. Are these offers still going to be on the table? Split second, it can go like that. I had my friend Jager who plays at Hawthorne, and I remember we went straight back to, to Jager's place and having that support network in a, in, a, in a place where obviously my family wasn't there at the time was you know, very sort of privileged and lucky. You know, Jager has been through some, you know, some shocking times with his knee. Just advice more around trying to calm me down and making sure I'm okay. Stayed in Melbourne for for four days post. Um, I stayed with I stayed with Jay, so he was he was really good in terms of just being just being around. When you're isolated, you're at your most vulnerable, and, and it actually you know the worst thing for you. I found a passage in a book once. They they wrote everything that they're grateful down in their journal, and just read read it every day. And so I sat down one afternoon and, and did that exact exercise. Just had a quick you know, reflection of of my life, and you know, I read that every morning. And um, whether you're in rehab whether you're in really good form at the start of the year. It, it just, for me, that's, that, that's when I'm at my best, when I'm just centered, putting things into perspective. Me missing three months compared to Callum Ward or, or, or Johnny or Jager, some of the injuries they've been through, I'm actually going all right. So that was, that's sort of the, the space and I always try and you know, keep my day-to-day -day life in. Stephen Cornelio has revealed a chat with his dad and a reflection on what his nono would do helped him make the call to stay at GWS. I was just uncomfortable for the whole situation and, and it being a little bit about me, but yeah, it was, just, it was a special night for me personally, of course, but if it means anything to the club, that's what, that's what matters more. Yeah, to have, to have like a friend in particular like Jager where um, I can be going through that situation, he's involved in one of those teams, but at the end of the day, he, he was always like to me, I went through the situation when I, when I left Gold Coast, I know what you're feeling. You know, he, he definitely wanted me to, to play Hawthorne. And we, we said growing up that we'd always, you know, link up at, one, at some point, you know, when we were 16, 17, I'm going to Giants, you're going to Gold Coast. And then we'll meet up one day, finish our careers together, and it was, it was a big possibility. He tried. He tried his best, but um, it was tough. That, that, when, when, I, when, I, when I actually told him I wasn't wasn't going there, it was a, yeah, it was a tough, um, a tough, a tough call to make. You know, um, my brothers and sisters and, and, and cousins that have all been um, really. Hello, mate. <laughs> How are you, brother? Yeah. How are you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Going? How are you going? How are you, Miss? <laughs> yeah, what's happening? Right. How are you, mate? I'm good. You've been what's filming this? for a while? Huh? You've been filming what's for a while? What's this? You're on this. Yeah. I'm starting here for the weekend. Exit? Yeah. Give us a hug. Yeah. You going, mate? You good? I was speaking about you. I've got um, a couple of letters of support for you to read. One from your parents. Um, <laughs> so have a read of those, bro. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone know about this? <laughs> Um, shaking a little bit. Huh? <laughs> Can you read? Yeah. Um, dear Stephen, Mum and I just wanted to say how proud we are of the man you've become in the last few years and again this year. It is very difficult for Mum and I not to be there watching you playing. We would love to share with you the highs with you after the games, but most importantly, we wish you could be there when you face the hardships. We ask you to take each step one at a time and remember that time will heal all. Go easy with love, and we now look forward to your 2020 season. Love always, Mum and Dad. Very nice. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> a bit emotional, see what happens. There's a family at the road that one of the girls, Mimi, she's probably only about nine or ten years old. Randomly, she'll just come and you know, drop something on our doorstep, say, well played. 
yeah, this week her brother sent me a message with, with a um, big thumbs up saying Mimi's pumped you're staying. And so I went, to, I went to the team store yesterday, got her an AFLW kit um, from head to toe um, and saw her coming home from school yesterday. So I went up and I said, Mimi, I got you a gift. And she's, she was, you know, obviously really shy. <laughs> um, gave her this and then come back last night and she's written me, thanks so much for the gift. I'm so glad you're staying with the Giants. I hope you enjoy the cookies. Um, and baked me a whole lot. It was more than this last night. <laughs> if you can um, hang around, you know, some, some positive and quality people, your life's going to be a lot better. And um, we're very fortunate to have a friendship that's, you know, that's lasted a long time, um, through highs and lows, really. I've had to lean on Steve at, in difficult times myself, so he's been there for me when I've been at my lowest points, and um, I've been able to be there for him at times when he's been at his lowest points too, so I would have loved to play footy with him. Um, and for him to live in Melbourne, but we're going to be friends regardless and we've got a lifetime of memories um, to share, so regardless of where he plays, I'll still be his mate. Watching from afar, um, he inspires me and drives me to, to be the best that I can be and, and as a person as well. Um, he's a great person, he's from a great family, so he inspires me to be that as well. <laughs> <laughs>